Light is sweet. It's a beautiful thing for the eyes to behold the sun. My God, the beauty of light will start radiating in your life. The beauty of light will begin to radiate in your life. The beauty of light will begin to radiate in your life. Just cut the light. Yes. Not the letters. Catch the light, my friend. Catch the light. It will show. You can't cut the light without showing. You can't be drunk with wine without people knowing you'll be doing like this. You can't be saying what happened. You know what happened. <laughs> what it took happened. <laughs> light is sweet. Yes. It's a beautiful thing. People thought I was crazy. No, it's the wine of the world. The wine of the world. I was very wealthy when I had nothing. <laughs> but I had light. Yes, sir, My God, light is sweet. It's a beautiful thing for the eyes to behold the sun. Please go for light. Now, just keep at it on the light breaks for me. Don't just read and say, I've finished the whole Bible. Who wants to know? Are we competing? <laughs> what, how is it showing in your life? One young man the other time said, This is the Bible with this. I said, It doesn't show. <laughs> it doesn't show. His life is still red. His life is still red. The entrance, not the reading. The entrance. Not the studying uh, to preach. You know, some people only study to preach. No. Study to eat. 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 I was uh, in a FFA meeting and um, the podium was like this and the light was almost not existent. So I taught and used 63 scriptures, which I quoted verbatim. One of the young men came to me and said, Sir, you quoted 63 scriptures verbatim. Do you cram them? I said, No, I eat them. I eat them. You mention one scripture, I can tell you if I had an encounter, what date I had an encounter. Light is sweet. Can we say that together? And it's a beautiful thing for the eyes to behold the sun. You know nothing shines without light. Come on now. Nothing shines without light. Nothing shines without light. Nothing shines without light. So let your light shine. My God. That men may see, so it's some people they should see. They must see it. They must see it. Glory to God. It's better we see them because some of us, when we write it in, and it's not legible. By then we now stand up writing. We become like Japanese language. <laughs> now give the Lord a big hand and get it. Right. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. <laughs> now, light is sweet. So instead of chewing gum in church, just chew light. <laughs> and it's a beautiful thing for the eyes to behold. So thank you, Jesus. Amen. Are you ready for next disturbance? It is the steering that releases the signs. There must be a steering. It's not uh, calm water don't bring miracles. It's steered water that does. <laughs> so let's get ready for another steering this morning. Praise God. And we we'll start with um, the need for a financial structure. Come on now. 
Well, the doors are shut so you can't go out. <laughs> we are going to rest room, CC, you will follow you. And be sure you are back. Amen. Now, please, let's listen. The former thing is God has overlooked. But commands everyone, everywhere to repent. God never counts the past against us. If we choose to change at his instruction. That's the beauty about the God we serve. If a man has been doing wickedness and he turns away from me, God will forget the wickedness he has done and then he will start with him afresh. It's never late to be right. Isn't that good news? It's never late to be right. In case anything was offside before, and you're now here to make it right side and you turn. I will pour my spirit upon you and make my words known unto you. When you turn at my reproof, Proverbs 1 and verse 23, you turn at my reproof, I will put my spirit upon you and I will make my word known unto you. God never holds the past against his people. When I command everyone, everywhere, man is liable to error. That's why we have the master, Jesus, to put us right. Man is liable to error. That's why we have, we have the world that teaches us the principles of the kingdom and reproves us where we have gone off and corrects us uh, to be right and instructs us in the right way to go. So it's not unspiritual to be in error. But it's unscriptural to remain so. When you have found how to do it right. I used to know an individual that uh, had the checkbook of his church in his hand and pays for clothes from it. A melodio. A member of our church was the man or the person doing the fashion for a man. Was concerned because he knows what we teach. Ah, excuse me, sir. This man is paying for this thing for the church check. You know, there were no this kind of things there. So his check means don't transfer anything. There's nowhere to transfer anybody to. So, ah, I see my beyond the truth today. Don't abuse his money. He's a risk. Ask Ophelia and Phineas. He said, your seed will beg to have a place in place of God. We beg for bread. For kicking at my offering. for someone so you don't think I'm the one trying to say something chapter 2 the Lord was speaking to someone Verse 28 to 30. Did I choose him out of all the tribes of Israel to be my priest, to offer upon my altar, to burn increase, to wear an effort before me? Did I give unto him the house of thy father? Give to the house of thy father all the offerings made by fire to the children of Israel? Wherefore, kick ye at my sacrifice? And of my offering, which are commanded in my habitation, and honoreth thy sons above me, to make yourselves fat with the 
chiefest of all offerings of Israel, my people. Now he went down. Verse 31. Behold, the day is come that I will cut off thy arm and the arm of thy father's house. There shall not be an old man in thy house. And thou shalt see an enemy in my habitation. In all the wealth with God shall give us. And there shall not be an old man in thy house forever. Now, and the man of thine, whom I shall not cut off from the, my altar, shall be to consume thy eyes and to grip thy heart, and all increase of thy house shall die in the flower of their age. Okay, Lord, they, now, go ahead. And this shall be a sign unto thee that shall come upon thy sons, thy two sons, Hophni and Phineas. In one day, they shall die, both of them. What have they done? Kicked up my offering. Your children are having a free day. Kicking up my offering, which is for my habitation. If anyone remains in your house, he will beg to be put in priesthood to earn a living from bread. Emma Sora caution, caution, caution. So we'll be taking our time to look at scriptures on how resources. It will bless you because it will lavish with your own. The word says Proverbs 28 verse 27 it said um, please go down to 20. Go down to 20. Let's see 20. Proverbs 28 verse 20. A faithful faithful shall abound he that make it haste to be rich shall not be innocent. Just stay faithful. You will abound with blessings. Stay faithful and you will abound with blessings. Church money is not your money. It's not. I know you're a founder. I was also a founder. They call me so. I will never call myself a founder. Amen. Church money is not your money. Stop doing Omajaye Jaye with God's money. Amen. Why? It's not safe. It's not safe. It's not safe. Great ministers of the gospel, I'm not a sickness to any account in this church today by the grace of God. I'm not going to go and do that. We've been coming on a long way. <coughs> you gave me the mission report the financial report for last year. I don't know where I put it. And I've not read it. They gave me the one for Lagos. I don't know where I put it. So I was looking for it this morning. So I called your phone was uh, ringing you and somewhere else. So, <laughs> and I said, you know what? That's not where my heart is. That's not where my heart is. My own account, we are discussing how some of you will be signing. My own account. You 
you want to buy something, you're now looking for me. No, I don't have time. Praise God. Glory to God. One of the worst diseases in ministry is the money disease. How do I call it? Money disease. You know how terrible it is? Which some have converted after. Yes. And they have pierced themselves through with many sorrows. And fallen into many foolish and diverse laws that drown men to destruction and perdition. O oh, thou man of God, flee these things. That's how devastating. It's a killer disease. <laughs> it's a killer disease. You help me look for a medical name for it. Yes. I have for Nancy before they go. <laughs> Praise God. It's a killer disease. It's a killer disease. Don't toy with it. Today, many are ministering principally for money. I mean, let's now face facts. You know, we are in church here. And it's the pillar and the ground of truth. The church of the living God. Many are ministry today. If, if I mean, we can't read your heart. We are not permitted to assess it. But God who knows the heart of all men knows that many are ministry today just for money. So it takes it far from them. It takes it far from them. Their prayer every day is money. Their confession is money. Their proclamation is money. Their study for service is money. Which scripture can I use to get at them? Somebody came to our church in Kaduna and was taking one sarcastic offering. So, uh, some people are going to give 300,000 here. Eh? There's a corner here. And it's been introduced him to the corner. <laughs> so, after the service, I called him. I said, I release you from that. God does not take from you what you don't have. <laughs> and I said to one of them, I said, I know if they take you up and land you, 300 can come out of you. <laughs> so, you are all released. So I asked him to start going. <laughs> we don't do so things here. One of my friends was taking an offering here, the only Shiloh. I said, Shh, ah, don't go there. He got the sign quickly. Shh. <laughs> you know, as a teacher, you can mark somebody wrong. Yes, sir. And he shouldn't. <laughs> Quiet. I called him after and I said, Never in your life, sir, should you, without taking permission from the said man. Yet we don't lack. Yeah. My God. Yeah. Yet we don't lack. Yeah. Somebody gave a car seed one time, and I was driving around the secretary. I saw the car first with second. I said, Who has this car? I felt like they should call for the person. And I discovered she was a widow. I said, Have you got the children to school? They said, The Lord is taking care of it. I said, The Lord took me to return that car to you. That's right. The church. I return it on behalf of the church. Amen. Somebody brought me a seed, and the Lord said I should return it to that person. So I go to the office. I said you should write a letter. I call one of the staff. Do you know this address? Say no. First tag town. I said you are returning this car now. As soon as the letter was written and signed, the husband of the woman came. What for? The wife gave the car without her permission. When she now saw the letter, she was jittery. She became like it became like water. The Lord told me to return it. And not all offerings acceptable or receivable. We're going around and going around. You are not sent by the people. You are sent to the people. You'll be going from office to office. It's, 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 it's been meaning for ministry. It's not dignifying. Can you imagine Jesus knocking somebody's office and say, yeah, "Praise the Lord." Say, yes. Uh, we are going to Capernaum. We need some funds to charter a boat. Can you imagine Jesus? Okay, what are you doing there? Mm. 
I have never entered one office in my life. And it's 40 years plus. Neither call a member of the church yeah. till tomorrow. You've been there all along. I'm teaching you the power of financial stewardship. Faithful financial stewardship. Jesus committed himself to no man. Paul said, I know no man after the flesh. Yes. See, most, all these things we do, they are just humanistic principles. If it's not working, I say, wait, 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 wait. You see it working. And I see it working in the life of a number of my sons here. Working heavily. Yeah. Yes. So take off the foxes. They do the foxes because they spoil the vine. It's quite a feat to capture a baby lion. But it's a task to watch it grow. When it's a baby lion, it plays around your bedroom like a cat. As it's growing, look for wooden barricade first. As it grows more, look for iron barricade. Gate of brass. Because it can eat you up. Many have been eaten up by machinated success. God's blessing don't eat people up. It may get rich and add no sorrow. In these days, a lot of young people uh, sign up for ministry to see how much a living can make out of it. A lot of things that look, these leaders, man, man, they are having a real good time. They're living on church money. There could be people living on church money. Paul, distorted, mammonic syndrome. <laughs> you will explain it later. <laughs> That's the demon of mammon. <laughs> <laughs> Glory to Jesus. The cure for abuse is open accountability. What's the cure? Stop covering what you are writing. Open accountability. The, the cure for abuse is open accountability open accountability open accountability and in the name of Jesus no one here will fail in this regard anymore Amen. no man can hold the bag and the ministry successfully at the same time you can't hold the bag and the ministry successfully at the same time. You cannot serve God and Mama. All the things that Judas saw was money. Ah, this well is too precious. They will have sold it and they will give it to the poor. He was the poor, he was referring to. Because he had the money, he was the treasurer, he was the accountant, he was the um, auditor. When a minister's eye is set on money, he has lost his ministry without knowing. When you come to church in the morning, what occurs to you is, my God, with this about 3,000 people, if they give 100 naira each, that should be enough for my trip to London. <laughs> that of course to your thinking. You are losing out in ministry gradually. It's like going, 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 
keep going.